Hi, my name is Liam and I am a junior. I'm Joanna and I'm a freshman. I'm Jack and I'm a junior. I'm Bailey and I'm a freshman. And we are from Lincoln High. Yeah. And this poem is titled, Going Postal. Sitting there, motionless, resting without purpose, without want. A desolate sight indeed. The once mighty flag which it, it would, would raise, raise gloriously, gloriously day, day by day. day. Signaling a message to its once good friend, now rests beside it, as still as its heart. It's a shame what happened to our dear friend. The, the mailbox. mailbox. <laughs> now used only by shills for bills. An era of romantic composition. Dead. Replaced instead by corporate dread. Where are the love letters? Where are the thrills? A long time ago was a culture defined by the nuclear family. American, American mindset, mindset of green lawns, lawns and freedom and mom's, mom's apple pie. pie. But the thing I miss most? It's the warm, heartfelt letter. But now, day by day, I'm trapped in a cell of polycarbonate or, or aluminum, aluminum oxide. oxide. Whatever name Apple decides is right every other fiscal quarter when, when my means, means of dissemination is destined to malfunction, I am trapped. And a cell which feeds off my will to be social, draining my wallet, polluting my mind. More and more, I can't live on the outside of this platonic, platonic cave, cave of, of illusory living. living. Shadows of my friends cast on screen by diotic puppeteers. But I keep, I keep lighting, lighting the, the fire every, every minute, minute I, I type, type up, every day I turn on. Every month I pay the bill, and every year I buy the newest model. I, I keep, keep lighting the fire every minute of every day because there is no one up there. No one to follow, no one to poke, no one to send a dank meme as a joke. How could I go back when half my soul is writhing in a cellular horcrux, and how can the venom of a snake destroy it when it's filled with poison already? <laughs> poison which rots you to your core. Poison, poison which, which makes, makes you take more and more each day. But the smell of graphite scratching onto the paper of a heartfelt letter. The taste of polyvinyl acetate under the flap of an envelope. The, the creaking hinge of the mailbox. It toxifies my soul. Breaks, breaks the, the chains in my cell. And lets me walk out of the cave. Side, side by side, side with my companions. <laughs> The romantic permanence of a warm, heartfelt letter. <laughs> this is a message. They can't leave or be deleted. The excitement to find what hides only behind a thin layer of paper addressed just to you. A form of communication excommunicated since the advent of ten, ten second, second snaps. snaps. Thought and consideration. Entire concentration. A one-on-one -on -one message between two souls. A one-on-one -on -one message between two souls. With three address lines. Only four you and, and five, five dimes in postage. postage. Our friend is not dead yet. It lies in waiting, like Vesuvius. <laughs> Awaiting a day when it can raise its flag again. And change America in a way. Far more impactful in Pompeii. As, as it, it sits, sits there, there, motionless. Our, our dear, dear friend, friend, the mailbox. mailbox.